Hey everybody, today is Sunday, May 5th, 2013, and this is my first Wisconsin garden update of the year. And today I'm rototilling the garden, and as you can see here, it didn't do too bad with grass and weeds over the winter. So it'll be pretty easy to till up, and I'll tell you about some changes that I'm doing. So stay tuned. Well, for the shoreline garden this year, our water is up a little bit. And over here is where I had it last year. You can see my old tomatoes here. And I'm going to till all this up today. And we have a little problem down here. Let me show you. We have this damage here from a muskrat. And you can see how far inland he's cut from the water here. And that kind of ruins my plans for the garden going further, but I'll continue on the other side, I guess. Well, before I till the garden, I thought I'd dig up this rock that I passed up last year because it was so darn big. I didn't have the energy to get it out of the hole. So I'm hitting it this time and going to add it to Garden Henge. And uh, you can see it's getting bigger every year. And each year we expand the garden, it'll get taller and longer. Well, I finally got it out of there. It's only about 40 pounds. But still, it's hard to get out of a hole when it's wedged in there. A lot of work and takes your breath away doing it. Well, I just pulled the other one out and found this one behind it. So hopefully this is the last of the Mohicans in this hole. And I'm going to need help getting this one out. This is a huge one. And that hole is kind of deep for me to lift it out of. And I don't want to kill my back. Well, I just finished tilling. And that spot in the middle I just prepared for onions and potatoes. And I did expand a bit up there to the left. And it's going to expand more. And every little bit counts because that can feed an extra person at the FEMA camp. Okay, here's what we have going in today. These are Gold Rush Russet Potatoes. We've never tried them before, and we thought we'd give them a shot this year. And um, we cut these apart a few days ago, and they scabbed over, so they're ready to go in. And then 100 white onions, which we do every year. Those always come out good. And here's some seeds that I'm going to be planting indoors and bring, up, bring them here next time. Here's some uh, Burpee Big Macs pumpkins. Usually I start them right in the ground, but... I thought I'd get a jump start this year indoors. And then some mammoth uh, sunflowers. We'll put those on the edge of the garden, hopefully get some bees. And then for watermelons this year, we're going big. Last year we grew blacktail mountains. Those did great. So I'm hoping I can get a 200 pound watermelon, just like on the front of this package here. I'm not sure if that's possible here in the Northern states. Maybe you guys have experience with that. But I'm sure you can get one that big in the southern states like Virginia or North Carolina or Germany, somewhere like that. So let me show you what else is going on here. Well, I wasn't able to till the shoreline this time. Time ran short because I spent a lot of time putting in our dock right over here, which we have to take out year after year because uh, the ice would break it up if we left it out there. But I do have some special plans this year for the shoreline garden, some new experiments to try out, and some crazy stuff, so stay tuned for that. Well, just wrapping things up here, we did extend the garden a little bit this way, but it's going to go 25 more feet this way, and then another 15 feet toward where I'm standing right now. And then over here, I did get my two rows of potatoes in and one row of onions. And then next time everything else goes in and down here is going to be where all the squashes, the pumpkins and watermelons. And then up here all the tomatoes and cucumbers in this whole area. So that's it. Until next time, take care everybody.